daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sacks here with Sacks in the Morning. Today we're going to talk a little bit about being fulfilled. Sometimes it's not always about being happy. You know, we often confuse about being fulfilled with feeling good. Now, those two things can coexist, but that isn't necessary. In a state of fulfillment, from what I see it, is there's often a sense of effortlessness, a sense of harmony and, and a congruence with the great laws of the universe. You know, people talk about that when you're on the right track, the universe is going to conspire with you, right? But fulfillment can also exist when life is difficult or challenging or uncomfortable. Some people say that at times when they felt most fulfilled were times when they had the least, when life was a struggle. But their sense of fulfillment was not about feeling good or happy all the time. It's about living a life of purpose and mission and being of service to people, which can be intense and sometimes heartbreaking and exhausting, and at the same time enormously fulfilling. The real paradox of fulfillment to me is that it's possible to have a sense of inner peace and to experience an outer struggle at the same time. You know, there's a story I want to share with you. I had a coach, and this lady was one of the best life and business coaches that I've ever had. And she lent a story to us about her and her partner, and they had a split up, and they never got back together. And she told us the times that where she was laying in bed for a month, and she couldn't get over this. It was the most heartbreaking thing to listen to her tears are welling up in her eyes, and you could see the emotion just ringing out of her. And she said she just didn't want to get out of bed. She thought about suicide. That's how distraught she was. And then she said something that really shocked the whole class. She said, I also felt at that time that I've never been more alive in my life at that time of distress, because she was expressing to us that she was able to get to a point where she could have those feelings, where she could feel that deeply. And most people never get there. Most people don't have an opportunity to even get to feel something so much like she did. The great thing was she fully recovered. She's on and living a very purposeful life now, like she always wanted to do. But I think what she expressed to us about being fulfilled is that her commitment and her passion were always there. Because when people talk about being fulfilled, they got their eyes set on, every day is going to be happy. Well, it's not. That's not what being fulfilled is. It's, it's, a, it's a false sense of security. Being fulfilled doesn't mean you're going to be happy every single day. It means you're going to be able to express your passion and love what you're doing. That's the fulfillment part. And that's my Sacks in the Morning short for today. I encourage all of you to engage and follow your emotional heart.